Have you ever looked in the mirror and thought your teeth seem a little longer than they used to be? Or maybe you've felt a small notch or ridge with your tongue right where the tooth meets the gum. Often, these changes come with a sharp, unpleasant sensitivity to cold drinks or sweet foods. If any of that sounds familiar, you might think it's all just one problem. But in reality, these could be two completely different issues that require very different solutions. In this video, we're going to break down the critical difference between gum recession and tooth neck wear, uncover what truly causes each one, and explore the right ways to treat them. Because getting the diagnosis right is the key to fixing it for good. First, let's clearly define the two conditions. On one hand, we have gingival recession, which you probably know as gum recession. This is a problem with your soft tissue. The gums are literally pulling away or receding from the tooth, leaving the root surface exposed. The key thing to remember here is that what you are losing is gum tissue. On the other hand, we have a condition called dental abfraction, which is a technical term for tooth neck wear. This is a problem with your hard tissue, the tooth itself. It often appears as a sharp, V-shaped or wedge-shaped notch right at the neck of the tooth where the crown meets the root. In this case, what you are losing is actual tooth structure, enamel and the layer beneath it called dentin. So in one case, you're losing gum and in the other, you're losing tooth. This is the single most important thing to understand because treating a loss of gum as if it were a loss of tooth can actually make the problem worse over time. Let's dive into gum recession first. What causes your gums to pull away? It can happen for several reasons. The most common is periodontal disease, which is an infection of the gums that destroys the tissue. Another major cause is mechanical trauma from aggressive toothbrushing. Using a hard bristled brush and scrubbing back and forth too forcefully can physically wear the gums away. Some people are just genetically prone to it because they have naturally thin gum tissue. And finally, habits like smoking, or the constant rubbing from an oral piercing can also lead to recession. So how do you correctly fix it? It's a two-step approach. First, you have to eliminate the cause. That means getting any gum disease under control, learning a gentler brushing technique, or removing the source of irritation. Once the cause is managed, the only way to restore what was lost is often through a surgical procedure, like a gum graft. This procedure takes tissue from another part of your mouth or uses a donor material to cover the exposed root. A very common mistake is to simply put a filling over the exposed root. Think about it. It's like patching a hole in your lawn with concrete instead of soil and seed. It covers the spot, but it doesn't solve the underlying problem. You lost gum, so the solution is to restore the gum. Now let's talk about that notch in your tooth the abfraction or tooth neck wear. For decades, many people, including some dentists, thought this was caused by brushing too hard. But we now know the primary cause is something else entirely. Excessive bite forces. Imagine taking a metal rod and bending it back and forth over and over. Where does it eventually break? Right at the point of highest stress. The same thing happens to your tooth. When you clench or grind, or if your bite is just slightly off, immense force gets concentrated on your teeth. This force causes the tooth to flex microscopically at its thinnest, weakest point, the neck. Over time, this constant flexing causes the brittle enamel crystals to chip and flake away, creating that signature notch. Because the cause is different, the treatment logic is completely different. The first priority is to manage the forces that are causing the tooth to flex. This is often done with a custom fit occlusal guard or night guard that you wear while you sleep to protect your teeth from clenching and grinding. In some cases, orthodontics or minor adjustments to the biting surfaces of the teeth can help distribute the forces more evenly. After the forces are under control, you can repair the damage. Since you lost tooth structure, you replace it with a tooth-like material. If the notch is very small and you have no sensitivity, Managing the bite forces might be all you need to do to stop it from getting worse. If there is sensitivity but the notch is shallow, a professional desensitizing agent 
can be applied to seal off the exposed tooth structure. And when the notch is significant, it's repaired with a specific type of dental filling, often a slightly more flexible material that can better withstand the flexing forces without popping off. So, as you can see, the conventional treatments for both gum recession and tooth wear often involve procedures, guards, or specialized fillings to manage the symptoms. But what if many of these issues, from receding gums to sensitivity, share a common root cause that modern dental products might actually be making worse? A recent breakthrough in oral health science is focusing not on patching the damage, but on rebuilding your mouth's natural defense system from within. It involves a unique, soft mineral that melts in your mouth designed to repopulate it with billions of good bacteria to restore oral health. I've linked to a special video that explains exactly how this powerful 10-second remedy works. To watch it, just open your phone's camera and point it at the QR code on your screen now. There is also a link pinned in the top comment below this video. Now, with that said, let's quickly recap the key differences we discussed today. A long tooth or a notch at your gum line isn't just one problem. It could be gum recession, a loss of soft tissue, often caused by irritation or disease. Or it could be tooth neck wear, a loss of hard tooth structure, mainly caused by bite forces. The treatment for one is not the treatment for the other. Putting a filling where you need a gum graft or ignoring the bite forces that are chipping your teeth away will not lead to a long-term solution. The most important step you can take is getting an accurate diagnosis. If you're noticing any of these signs, have a conversation with your dental professional. Ask them directly. Is this a gum issue, a tooth wear issue, or a combination of both? Understanding the why is the first step to a proper fix. If you found this breakdown helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more clear, straightforward dental insights. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.